One of the first steps that we take uh, when you're going to do something in animation is you have to actually create the characters you're going to move around. Uh, in this particular music video here, we had the inspiration of the original cover from the album, the CD, uh, that uh, Greg Capullo and I put together uh, that was out at the storefronts. So, uh, if you take a look at that piece, not only are you going to see the character that's going to end up being the hero in the show, or in, in this video clip, but also all the other people that are in the crowd. And some of those characters, if you look closely at the album cover, are actually going to be in this video here. We're going to have a handful of them. A couple of them are the young blonde lady down in the corner here. She'll be in here again. Some of them just very quickly. Uh, the young black female here with the halter top. Uh, again, you know, nice, pretty, beautiful women will always sell. Uh, we've got our guy with the nose ring, the dude mon, with a little bit of the grunge look. He, he's going to be in there. Uh, as we go through it, uh, we have to create uh, the various characters again here. I had some notes I had to make. I thought the eyes were a little bit wrong. I thought the mouth was a little awkward again. Sometimes I draw right on the pages here and say this is how the lips are supposed to look, and I do a yes and then I, I show them what the no version is so they actually have something that's uh, comparable to it. Um, one of the other characters that's very popular is our little goth chick. Um, and so you design her, which is what we have here in black and white. Uh, then we come in there and do some uh, sort of dark modeling to sort of see what she's going to look like on the screen with a little bit of shadowing on her. And then ultimately we'll get into and start playing with some color schemes. Um, Obviously, this one here has a little bit too much of a flesh tone compared to what you see on the CD cover, and so we'll make sure that we modify that uh, and get her to be a little more pale, not not ghost-like, but a little more pale, just to uh, give her a little bit more reality as to uh, what she looked like on that cover. We'll probably even make sure that we fix that eye so that it has that sort of tear blood drip uh, going there. Um, and then any show, you have to have your villain. Uh, this is what we have here, our quasi-stormtroopers. Um, again, here's a rough of what they would look like, and then here they are with some black in here. Um, some of these characters were created, again, uh, by Greg Capullo, who's helping me on here uh, with this uh, video in terms of the character design. As you can see, we wanted to give sort of almost an insect-like face, but to have a lot of black leather, and again, give this sort of dark and mysterious, and, and here's a color version of him. Um, so that he's nice and black. Uh, the big guy, obviously, is our hero. The character we created uh, from the smiley face of the first couple of CD uh, album covers, which was just the eyes and the face. Um, and so here's an early rendition of it. Here's some of my m notes, making sure that the eyes get done better and the face is a little more sinister. Uh, again, it's, it's really important to me. Here's, again, another one that's in color. Uh, that has the face and the eyes. There's a note down here of how you do the eyes and how you don't do the eyes. I don't want them to look like a little alien guy. I want them to look sort of mean and squinting on it. And then once we get that, then we sort of approve that we do our black and white drawings around it so that we can end up doing turnarounds, which is what, is what you see here. This is a page that actually has my mouth drawing, my eye drawings sort of redone on it. And then you, can, you got back drawing. And then once we get even closer, which is a better page, this is the one now we come in and we see the full color, plus we see sort of the gnarly little teeth on it. And this is going to be the guy that we're going to be following throughout the entire quest of this uh, four-minute video. Uh, the first one we're going to look at here is uh, of the storyboards, and the storyboards are what we end up doing after we design all the characters. We have to show these to the overseas studios so that they know what to put in in each one of the scenes, and in some cases, exactly what we want in, this, in a particular frame. Generally, there are 24 frames drawn to make every second of animation, so if you do the math, you can see there's a lot of work done in even just a, a three to four minute uh, video like we're going to be doing compared to a full length feature. Uh, some of the characters are going to be recognizable that you've been familiar with from the uh, CD cover. 
Uh, we want to get those in there as part of the story. One of the other things, obviously, uh, from my aspect of looking at it visually is that we want to do some nice transitions, some arty farty stuff so that when you're looking at it for the three or four minutes it's sort of interesting. So if we take a look at uh, scene 110 here, we've got a guy sitting in an office and then we've got columns sitting on either side of him and eventually those columns will blur out and become sort of down shots of two fighter planes and fighter jets that are going to be shooting over the city and so again those dissolves um, that sort of transition from one scene to another, I think, uh, done right and not overused can actually be something of uh, interest that move the video along and uh, help it make it more interesting to the viewer. Again, here's another one, scene 63. This is showing a couple things. One, a little bit of design, as you can see here. We've got the bayonets, we've got the kid in black in the middle here, and then we've got the bad guys all dressed up. But this is sort of some of the symbolism you're going to see within the video of sort of the conflict throughout time that man has been fighting. And it's sort of a big overall theme um, that this music video is going to be about in terms of sort of the greed and the power that people have been struggling against. Um, and because of those two themes, obviously you have to have a backdrop of the politics that go around the world because everything is driven in, in our world these days by the politics of every country and the agenda that each one of them has. So you're going to be seeing a lot of the world leaders of some of the big major uh, countries around the world and uh, it's going to be tying into what's happening to the oppression of the people as they walk around the street. Uh, and then obviously you need that sort of through story of your hero and we see him down below here in this particular scene he's actually tied up as you can see in this third panel here and he's struggling to break himself uh, free ultimately he will and he'll go on a, a, a path to try and you know in the simplest terms beat the bad guy uh, up above here is again some quick shots of our villains who are basically taking on the people and it's up to our hero to actually save the day quote unquote in a, sort of an artistic way with the backdrop of the music as we see all the other things. So hope you like what we're doing and uh, we'll get back to you soon with some more information.